Hey guys, what's up? Beast and Beast Toys here. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you want to get notifications of my reviews. Got a black croissant. Uh, got him at Walmart on sale, as you can see. You can see that, 13. I've seen these as low as six. Um, my Walmart had them knocked down when we had them. Had them knocked down to 19. Um, I think it was 19. And, you know, usually it's even dollars when they mark down. So I, I, I want to say nineteen ninety nine, but that doesn't sound right because I'm pretty sure it's even dollars. I think it was nineteen even. At any rate, and it may have been an online match. Um, I let it go for that. I just happened to be in. Uh, I was actually in a St. Louis Walmart over uh, around the Fenton area, and uh, did some toy hunting yesterday. My daughter had a volleyball tournament at a big complex there, and. Uh, she had an hour break and there was a Walmart literally, uh, I mean, it was about the equivalent of a city block down the road. And uh, so I went and hit it and Target, Five Below, and Ross. The Ross over there was terrible. Five Below had a lot of stuff, but nothing, you know, collecting wise. Um, the Target over there wasn't, wasn't very good. I was pretty disappointed. Um, it wasn't really. Um, I didn't, I actually, I was pretty disappointed at Walmart. I just happened to walk by and caught this. Um, um, they didn't have it. They didn't have a lot of stuff that I like, I guess. They had no Joes. Um, well, no, I say that. I take that back. They had Lady J, you know. If there was a, if we could army build Lady J, you know, the classified line world would be, uh, insane. You know, people with army builders, but we don't. So, at any rate, never understand why. So many people pass on her, and at the same time, they make so many. Anyway, long, another story for another time. But I found him, and uh, hopefully he's all there. Um, there was two on the shelf. They were in the regular toy aisle. Um, they did have, like, a crap ton of the Book of Boba Fett Cad Banes. They had, like, six or seven, and they did have the Mandalorian, uh, Mine's a Mandalore figure. Um, but I, I just really... I, there's so many Mandos, it's like now I'm at the point of why buy one or any more. So, anyway, hopefully he's all in there. The other one was cracked, tore open, and he was in there. You can see the top of his head, but I bought this one, so I'll take a shot. Um, anyway, I guess I better show him off. But, uh, the other one was the uh, knockoff Chewbacca painted one that we got earlier on, the comic book one. I don't know why they just didn't do this and skip that comic book one. That was kind of a joke. I think you can pick that one up now for next to nothing, if I'm not mistaken probably should just sell on the comic book ones i'm pretty sure this is him i mean he's mummified and got something big big blaster rifle there um i feel like he'll be a pretty cool figure without uh before i even get to him get the opening i feel like he's gonna be a, a decent figure definitely not you know we're, we're not in, hurting by any means by picking him up for 13 and change for I mean, it's like right at 14 bucks, I guess. I think it was 14.03 or something was the total. So, so $14 for a Black Series figure is never bad. You can pick up anything. Joe Black Series for that price. Hell, even Masters of the Universe at this point, if you can find them even in store, other than uh, Wave 7, the uh, elusive wink wink Wave 7. But um, we got, there we go. At this dude, pretty good size figure. Kind of makes me think about, uh, you know, Sergeant Slaughter, Serpentor for classified, Big Boa. They're all bigger figures um, in the Black Series. Who do we get that was bigger? He's like one of the biggest ones. Him and Chewie really are the bigger figures. Um, the new Super Battle Droids are good size. Is uh, I'll compare one. Actually, I got one right here to my right. I'll show it when I get him out here in a second. They don't really match up, though, for timeline, so, yeah, it's definitely him. That's good, so no no scurry dewy job at, from Walmart or no return, no no dumbass stuff going on, no repackaging or retaping. It looked, it looked legit taped anyway, but uh, you, never, you just never know, you know, that's the downside. You never know, so. All right, let me wrap this back up. Here he is. I'll set him here. Where you can see, I'm gonna wrap up this paper and put it back in the box. Get uh, his weapon out while we're here. That's this giant blaster rifle. 
but yeah, he's he's a neat looking figure. I think I like him all right. Um, I guess I'm kind of glad I held off. I never had any interest that I should say I didn't have that much of an interest to pick this figure up, especially after buying that stupid comic book knockoff. My is my kid yelling at me? Hope not. At least when I get to my video first. Hopefully nothing going on. I just had to go out to my shit storage shed and pull her out. She's complaining it's getting warm here and she's like, I don't have hardly any shorts. I'm like, I know you had three or four pair from the winter because you played basketball. And uh so anyway. So here's the blaster rifle. Has the uh it's kind of crazy. That's the I believe the bowcaster uh scope. You can see that. There we go. That's the bowcaster scope from Chewy. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. Um, but it's a big, long blaster rifle. You stand it up next to him. Comes up past his elbow. So that's a pretty good size. So here he is up close. Let's show him off. This is the big black croissant. I think that's how you say it. Croissant. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, he was cool on the show. I didn't mind the book of Boba Fett. I think it was terrible. I thought it was an okay show. I like Tamua Morrison as the uh, Django anyway from the Clone Wars. I really liked his figure. and I played that Bounty Hunter game on PS2 when it came out. I loved that. That was my favorite Star Wars games for a long period of time. I really loved that game. He, I think and I'm 99% sure that's his voice in that game as well. So it's nice that he spent, you know... Spent, took the time and, uh, you know, did voiceovers for that character even after the movie came out. You know, when, when you think about it, he was killed off in that movie. So, but uh, it's kind of hard to get on his arm. Oh, wow. See, it's, when you look at the picture on the front, he's got him holding it outright. And, uh, you know, with me, I like to tuck them up under their arms like so. I like to hold them out like this. And you can kind of, this is a, this is an okay pose right here. With it in his hand. Not bad. Let's check the limbs here. I've been pretty good down here. Elbow. I bent it when I first opened it there when we were talking the first minute. But it's got some range of mobility, not a ton. I mean, there's, you can pull it back a little bit. You can go up. That's about as high up because you got this, this here shoulder guard, this, uh, you know, this armor he wears. So you can't, you can, can't really turn the head. It's, it's, it's mobile, but it's not really turnable, if that makes sense. It's, it's on a swivel. Um, chest wise, though, here's where he's got the most range of motion. You can move him at the waist really well, at the bottom, you know, torso area. So, you can do that, but uh, this one definitely way better. Definitely worth the price that I got him for for 14 bucks after tax. So there he is, guys. Oh, wait, let's read his bio. Let's see if his bio is generic. You know, some of these are generic. It's kind of stupid. So let's see if we can. There we go. Here's a good pose. Let's see. A former. Oh no, it's not. A former gladiator turned deadly bounty hunter, croissant is a towering black fur Wookiee who made a name for himself in the criminal underworld with his intimidating presence and raw strength. So there you have it. All right, so was it worth it? Absolutely, 14 bucks. We're not gonna complain too often on a $14 figure. If I could buy $14 Black Series and G.I. Joe figures, I'd buy them all day long. Um, I do buy some as cheap as I can when I can. That's why I have lots of army builders. Someday I'm gonna have to do another uh, army builder review or collection uh, inventory and if you want to go back and look I did it about a year or so ago there's videos back there in my collection part one through seven for this series black series and part one and two of Joe's now my Joe video would probably be up to four parts I'd probably double that easily actually way more than that but um, in two I'd say in four take about four videos to get it done anyway there he is black croissant pretty cool $13 figure, nice, you know, go look around at Walmart. Some of you guys out there probably found this figure at Walmart and sell. Like I said, finally got him for me. It was uh, just kind of a waiting game. Just if I ever caught him at the right price, I was getting him. And that's kind of how some of these Black Series are going to be for me going forward. I'll buy a handful brand new, not very many anymore. Um, you know, 
uh, the clone two pack to come out. Um, or I, you know, I bought it obviously. Got the droid. Oh yeah, super battle. I can compare. How tall is he to a super battle droid? He's actually taller than a battle droid. Let's let's put them back to back here. This new super battle droid is very cool, by the way. If you didn't see it, I got a video uh, a week or two ago. You can go back and watch him. But there he is. It's a. It just show, goes to show you how big that croissant is. So it's cool. Anyway, there he is, guys. Uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Go ahead and like and uh, subscribe if you'd like. And as always, guys. Oh, excuse me. Thanks for watching with Black Croissant on Beast from Beast Toys. We'll see you.